So when it comes to browsing and looking for Atom themes, I love this site, atomthemes.io. It's basically all of the themes from the repository, except if we go to the repository and look at the themes there, you can't see what they look like, and it's not too easy to browse through a lot of them, so you actually have to search, and I find that a not ideal way since themes are so visual. So I like to come to this atomthemes.io site, and I can just scroll through all the screenshots of them. They'll load. And basically, once you find one that you like, so one light syntax or one dark syntax, those are actually some default ones, we could see we've got Adam Monokai here. A whole bunch of them. There's a Slack one, so you can get it to look just like Slack. That's pretty cool. Hadn't noticed that before. And then once you have the theme you like, like let's say, for example, this Slack UI, I could come into Atom and install it the same way I would. Instead of doing packages, I could just do themes. So let's look for Slack UI. Go ahead and install this one. And now it's important to notice, again, about themes, that we just installed a UI theme. There are other themes on the site here that don't say UI, and they have things like syntax here. So notice that this one is going to be a theme that controls our syntax. Here's another one here, Chester Adam Syntax. Let's go ahead and um, check out that one. We'll install that one as well. And I want to install both of these, both the Slack UI and the Chester Adam Syntax, again to point out that there are two types of themes. There are themes that control the UI and then themes that control the syntax. So we could control which ones are set up by coming into themes here. And then we could see we've got our UI theme. So this is going to control our UI. I'll put on the Slack one here. And notice that that is automatically reset and we can see our new styling applied. And then the syntax themes, and we select these separately. So I'm gonna select my Chester Atom. Um, it shouldn't change too much here because technically the settings are part of the Chrome. But then when I hop over to here, notice that it looks different and I've got my new syntax theme going on. And then you'll find, okay, some syntax themes might not work well with some UI themes. Maybe that's a better pairing. Um, but it also allows you to do things like maybe I could pick the one dark and I could pick one light to be my syntax theme. So I've got a dark background but a light one here. So there are a lot of possibilities for what you could do with this. And finally, I'll even point out that you could also add your own Atom style sheet. And if you click on that, you could add in your own code here to customize either the UI or the um, syntax theme even further and overwrite them or get into writing your own themes. So if you're a CSS uh, nut and you want to explore that, you could search for further links on how to do that. We're not going to go into that depth because I find it pretty easy to just find a theme that you like. You could tweak certain things if you want. Um, but again, that's just to point out, again, I'm going to switch back to the, the one light, which is what I've been using uh, mostly in this course. And as I said, you're going to want to take some time looking through the themes and picking out some that you like. Again, there's tons and tons out there, so you could filter by different categories or just uh, browse away and really take the time to look through the different themes and find some that suit different moods. Uh, so when you're in the, the dark mood, you might have a lighter one, a happier, a fun one, depending on what you're working on. And then uh, I suggest switching these themes on occasion to give yourself some variety and the greatest adaptation for your work environment.